I'm Burning Dog Face, and this is Let's Play Quantum Conundrum. Some event must have occurred to cause me to be transported to this pocket dimension. If only I could remember what. You didn't drink the science juice, did you? I sure wouldn't recommend bathing in it. So now we have all four dimensions. I didn't really comment on it when they first revealed it because I was too busy dodging safes. <laughs> huh. My headache is getting a little better, although I still have a rather large lump on my skull. But, uh, a reverse gravity dimension is, uh, just about right for a puzzle game, actually. I am kind of disappointed that only Fluffy and Heavy have different textures for everything. Maybe cover everything in clocks in slow-mo and... I don't know, make everything into balloons? No, that's just silly. Oh, in case you don't see it, there's an electrical converter on the ceiling that needs to be pressed. <laughs> Y'all are so whack, Ike. I can't believe my memory hasn't returned yet. Right. Uh. Okay. Although that does give me a thought. Up, up, and away. Huh. That's what that was. Ooh. Nice plush landing. Ooh. What the... I'm gonna use you for something, right? Oops. I just kind of realized, now I was glancing through the footage to make sure it didn't get corrupted, that, uh... I seem to take the, uh, reveal of the last dimension in stride. Which just kind of says how weird this game is, really. Oh, right. Ah! Uh, I got smushed. Okay, then. An airlock. That's new. I don't believe this isn't jettison me into space. The greatest puzzle in the world. Tribute. Um...
Ah! Jesus, startled the shit out of me. <laughs> well, I guess I can break this window. Oops. Again, I'm really afraid to count at this point. <laughs> Thank you, like. There you go. No, no, no. You really need to be in the top. In my defense, it's really funny. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to be getting at here, but... Really? Here. Sometimes I get the strangest feelings that they might be sentient. Well, that's comforting. Why am I in here again? Ah! Uh -uh. Oh, great. That's why. Leave it in this mode for a second. And drop. Okay, that worked pretty well. I don't think we've ever seen uh, something like that before, where it's two things lighting up the same light instead of just two lights. But. It's pretty simple to figure out just by looking at it, don't you think? I engineered a completely seedless strawberry once. I hated getting the seed stuck between my teeth. Can't blame you. Wonder why he was reminded of that. I have fond memories of this room when I was about your age. It used to be the parlor. Oh, well. Ike is precocious sometimes, much like yourself. I didn't really notice he was that chubby when he wasn't moving. Um, Ike. You know, I put those belts there for a reason. Just think about it. Um... Crash egg? No. <laughs> oh! Okay, but... Missed. There we go. want me to do with it. In fact, I'm going to do it again. 
Ah, what the hell? That was a sound. An annoying sound. a sneaky one, isn't he? I didn't even see that one. Ooh. You should perhaps place something in there. Uh, okay. This reminds me of that one co-op level from Portal 2. We're gonna have to guide the other guy through. Oop. Ah! Clever dance, one and all. I made the jump. Good going on reverse engineering that. I see what you did there. <laughs> and having this guy as an uncle would be the best thing in the world. Science hey. juice is quite an amazing substance, you know. Oh, yeah? You do tell. Uh. Good God. Yeah, there's kind of a lot of stuff in the red wing. In addition to being a fuel source, it's also a superconductor and amplifier of energy frequencies. Just a small amount infused with dimensional extract can build enough energy to power the IDS device receptacles. Too bad it's also uh, toxic enough to kill a ten-year-old instantaneously upon contact. Oh, yes. <laughs> this area unfortunately flooded a few weeks ago. You'll need to go all the way around. Who earns? Well... What does this accomplish? Uh, nothing. Ah! I jumped all the way over the safe. Oh, yes. <laughs> this area unfortunately flooded a few weeks ago. You'll need to go all the way around. Sure, no safes are gonna land on me and turn this off. Okay. Cross there. Uh, okay. Gotta get down to get up? Well, wait, that's not how that goes. Where am I trying to go? Uh, up to there? What the f- they, I was clipping through the safe there. It was moving up through me. So when I tried to jump, he just walked forward. <laughs> okay. Got to get down to get up. Well, wait, that's not how that goes. Good. Where can I get 
No, that's a solid wall. Can't go there. So I'll just stand here and... Here, sneeze coming on. Let's see. Uh, I'll give you something to work with here. It is not going to happen. Uh. Oh. Let's make sure I don't get sucked in here and die. Ready, ready, go. If you can get that safe closer, you could probably jump to it. I think he meant that, that tip for over there. Oh, hey. Hello, my name is Ike. I think he just sticks that directly in his fur. No, no, he did mean this one. So how come Ike is affected by the slow-mo dimension? Not any of the others. Alright, leap of faith. Yeah, I can make this. Good thinking. Not sure what good this accomplishes. Do not want! Oh, I waited too long. Well, that is pretty thorough. Busted. Well played. Make that jump. Oh. Might just be able to make this one. And away we go! Huh? I guess that was the sound of all the safes despawning at once.
through the glass flooring. Ha! Ah, that's a laser. You can't trick me. Oh. I was gonna like play it up for laughs when I walked into the laser I anyway. I believe that there are mm, three safes down there. If that helps, you're gonna need that heavy battery. That seems pretty straightforward. Oh. Well, there's the timer, so I'll get that next time. Gonna need that fluffy battery too, aren't I? In any event, this has been Let's Play Quantum Conundrum, and I'll see you next time, Burning Dog fans. Later!